The worst of the COVID-19 pandemic may be behind us, but mental health experts say that kids are feeling the effects now. According to the Mayo Clinic, rates of anxiety, depression and eating disorders are all up and they also saw a 30% increase in mental health cases showing up in emergency rooms last year. Now here in Central Texas, burnout is impacting young people at an alarming rate. I spoke with two mental health professionals who explain why it's so bad right now, how to spot it in your kids and ways you can help them cope. This year in particular has been one solid year of stress. Kids are dealing with a lot right now and it shows. It's been a mess since September. It's been a mess from the first week of school all the way through consistently. I've never seen that before ever. There were always pockets of times that kids struggled. It was predictable. It was a certain time of year and it was understandable. Mariah Sirocco is a child psychologist at Desert Wind Therapy Center. She says her clients are experiencing more problems this year than in the height of the pandemic. I was expecting this level of dysregulation last year. Sirocco says meltdowns, hyperactivity, and withdrawing from family and friends can all signal burnout. It looks a lot like depression. They lose motivation, they lose interests in stuff that they once were interested in, they withdraw. So what's causing it now? So many things, according to Sirocco, including fear, loss, grief, family problems, anxiety over the future, academic pressure, and just living in a constant state of stress. They're, they're falling apart. Sirocco says typically giving kids something to look forward to works to alleviate burnout, but this year that method isn't really working. Nothing has helped. Even more troubling, she's seeing more and more kids hurting themselves to cope. It got to a point this year, and it was about March, April, where I had to hide sharp things in my office because I was afraid kids were gonna go to the bathroom and try to find something to hurt themselves. Mm -hmm. That's how bad it is. And they're having psychological help. They're seeing a psychologist on a regular basis. And I still was worried about their safety. And they still were falling apart and feeling like the only option they had was to harm themselves. In December, the U.S. Surgeon General warned young people were facing devastating mental health challenges. His report said there was a 51% increase in emergency room visits for suicide attempts by young girls in 2021 compared to 2019. It was up 4% in boys. And it also cited significant increases in self-reported depression and anxiety, along with more emergency room visits for mental health issues. These kids feel alone. They feel isolated. They don't know what to do with themselves, and that's why they self-harm. They're backed against a corner with no more... Um, coping skills, the only thing that makes sense to them is feeling like they don't want to exist anymore. Licensed professional counselor Crystal Morris believes things like mindfulness and meditation could help young people who are struggling. Once we identify, you know, that we're burnt out, now we can manage. She says the earlier kids learn these techniques, the better. If they learn that and practice on a regular basis, that uh, they're more apt to uh, be calmer when it is kind of a crisis. She helps her clients create a self-care wellness plan and says it really can include anything as long as it's something kids love. I think it's finding the right fit for you. Exercise, eating healthy, journaling. Sirocco says you should seek professional help if your kids just aren't doing simple things like showering or brushing their teeth, if they're sleeping most of the time but are still tired, or their daily life is impacted. It can spiral really quickly and kids are very fragile. Her advice for parents, build a strong community, watch out for each other's kids, talk to them, and realize none of this is your fault. We need to work together and figure out what to do to help these kids because if we just let it go, we're just gonna keep seeing the same thing throughout the school year and the school year was not okay. Now, Sirocco hopes this summer will help kids reset, and she suggests doing things that keep their brains engaged, like reading, learning a new hobby, doing puzzles or brain games, getting off of screens, spending time outdoors, sticking to those sleep habits, and to a routine.